What's up everybody, Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net and behind me you can see a big hulking bus. This is the Specialty Motor Cars Vacation Mobile of 2023, uh, now available for sale. I bought this van, oh geez, back in March. Papa Bear and I flew all the way to Texas to pick this van up. Drove it all the way back to Massachusetts, essentially, where I live, New Hampshire, whatever. Uh, and then we took it on the Florida vacation down and back we did a couple other small day trips with it here and there with the family in total i put over 6,000 miles on this van and it's been nothing short of a pleasure now it's time to find this van a new home like every year i buy a van for vacation and then i sell it this one is a beautiful 2009 model year with just 37,000 miles very excited to show it to you let's get into the video and here she is a beautiful 2009 Chevy Express high top Explorer conversion in. This is a 1500 series, half ton series, uh, rear wheel drive model done by Explorer. This is their limited SE package. Um, honestly, I don't know their packages. I feel like they call them all limited SEs, but uh, if it makes you feel better, this is one of them. <laughs> uh, this van is, like I said in the introduction, this was our 2023 florida vacation van now this van went on a few road trips there was one road trip the first one was us getting it papa van and i flew to texas uh to pick this van up it's a one owner van actually starting life off in miami florida and if you go back to my old video you'll see papa van and i flew to texas to pick this van up this van was a handicap conversion van um and papa bear and i have since removed all the handicap equipment and turned it back into a conventional i guess if you want to say conventional conversion van um, this van is an absolutely clean 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 rust-free van a beautiful 37,000 mile example we picked it up it had just over 31,000 miles on it and we drove it back from texas uh, only just a few weeks later to load it back up and head back down south down to florida uh, and this van was a pleasure to drive. Every year I buy the same style van, a Chevy or a GMC, high top Explorer. If you remember last year, uh, I had a 2007 model year. It was kind of a two-tone faded paint, which was really, really cool. Uh, but I actually like this solid color better. Um, it doesn't make it look as dated. It was like the two-tone, my first van was two-tone, uh, where the cladding on the bottom was a different color in the body um, I had a green one that was the same thing two-tone and then I had last year's version which was a faded two-tone where it was like a gold on the top turning into a pearl white on the bottom or well, vice versa I forget I think it might have been the reverse way pearl on the bottom gold on top either way um, great van beautiful that was a gorgeous van 49,000 miles when I got that one um, but the only downfall with that is, I almost tripped here, is that van <laughs> kind of scared me because it was such a custom paint job. If at any point anything ever got damaged on that van, in order to fix that properly, you'd have to paint the whole van. There'd be no way to mimic that fade pattern on one side or one panel. Um, but this, this van I love because it's all one solid color which is Ming blue metallic factory color that this van came from Chevrolet. Uh, and then Explorer, when they converted it, they kept everything else blue, all the cladding, grill, lower panels, high top, etc. So like I said, 31,000 miles when we bought it, drove it back from Texas, uh, then drove it to Florida. With the whole tribe inside, it carries seven people very, very comfortably. Uh, TV in the back, shades, rear seat goes down into a bench um, if you don't know the cool factors with these vans um, you should look into getting one if you got a if you're looking for a family hauler if you're looking for a family road trip van um, with that high top uh, conversion makes all the difference explorer does make these in a low top version for those who like to fit these things in conventional garages that's one thing i will say that high top will not fit in a typical garage. Um, that's uh, that's one of the drawbacks with the high top. But 
interior space wise comfort and travel wise totally makes up for it um, and, and that's what I really look for I've had uh, I had one low top once I mean it was good for carrying people but it wasn't like these high tops are uh, so gonna go around the van like I'm already doing I'm gonna point out a few little minor flaws it's all just little nicks and chips or scratches or whatever uh, overall really really nice shape did just do a ton of service work to this van after we took it back and you know as I'm prepping it for sale um, I just put these brand new GM takeoff wheels on brand new Cooper tires uh, shocks oil change service the air conditioning um, feel like we did a few light bulbs here and there replaced the antenna uh, went through the van I did all this after um, I put all these miles on so these tires are brand new these tires don't have any more than 100 miles on them um, the van when i got it had a set of american racing wheels which i believe at one time were chrome somebody painted silver um, and they had these like knockoff chinese tires that i mean they were all right on the highway but they were a little loud um, so i opted to put these gm factory gm wheels on the truck and then brand new cooper tires had to do four new tire pressure monitor sensors and the whole works well, let's go around i'm gonna show you a couple little minor flaws here and there with it and uh then we'll show you the beautiful interior of this beautiful van so as far as any minor flaws like i said very minor stuff small chips and stuff uh when explorer does these vans over they do a lot of extra paint work where they paint like panels like this here they paint the grill surrounds they paint all this plastic cowling and stuff like that. The mirrors, basically all the textured plastic stuff. They paint like the door handles and stuff like that. So on the front end, there's some minor chipping that has been touched up on some of the grill surround. Nothing too, too crazy. We did put an aftermarket um, kind of mesh style grill insert in there. Nice crystal clear headlights. Uh, but on the bumper here, you can see some minor chipping and some minor abrasions. This is kind of a cool thing that they do. This is a fold down uh, step essentially to clean your windshield uh, or do some service work under the hood. Your license plate attaches right to it. Has a lower balance there with uh, driving lights. Does have a small ding right there in the front bumper. Uh, and then I notice a small tear in the lower balance way down on the bottom there. Uh, paint is overall in great shape on this van. Like I said, a few minor little stone chips that were touched up. You can see a couple more there. Um, on this cowling panel here, uh, like I said, Explorer painted this. You can see some chipping probably from the windshield wipers uh, here up on the top, on both sides actually, uh, where I don't know if like the edge got chipped or, or water wore it off, um, but there's a little bit of discoloration there. Uh, windshield's in great shape glass all the glass is in great shape throughout does have these kind of artificial well not really i mean they, they do poke right through uh fender ports kind of a thing that explorer did along with this body side molding the lower cladding you can see there uh but again overall everything's in really good shape you know minor chips a couple little stone chips on the mirror here led turn signals You know, minor chips throughout the rub strip here and there. You can see some of the chrome delaminating on these inserts. I did replace all these emblems here. You can see the limited SE emblem. I replaced the Explorer van emblems and then the Explorer vans all, uh, emblems on the quarter all the way around. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, again here, brand new Cooper tires, beautiful GM takeoff wheels. These are accessory wheels, 20 inch wheels, I believe. Yeah. These were, um, I found these from a friend of a friend who had these tucked away in the attic of a GM dealership. They were put on a, a truck or an SUV back in the day and then taken off. Um, the tires were from 2014 and they were, they had some dry rot and I think flat squad. So I put new Cooper tires on it, uh, but those are like new tires. And like I said, also did all new tire pressure monitor sensors throughout can see the lower cladding here good shape again minor chips a few little nicks and stuff like that 
I can't really show you every little nick and chip and scratch. It's, you know, all minor stuff. It's a little bit of goop. I don't know what that is, if that was old sap or something that stuck to the top of the door there. Um, but overall, not really noticeable. There is a ding right there, you can kind of see. Tried to get my PDR guy to take that out, but just the way the panel is designed, it's near impossible to get in there. Um, but the doors, again, like I said, all the door handles painted to match. You know, a few little minor things down low from rubbing into stuff. Uh, nothing too, too crazy. A little bit of a scuff there, scuff there. Again, all the glass is in great shape on this van. These back windows, I didn't notice until, actually, I think a couple weeks ago. These back windows, the two quarter windows and then these two door windows are double tinted. So they're the factory tinted windows and then somebody tinted over them. Um, like I said, this van was a handicap wheelchair lift van when I bought it. So I'm assuming to keep the interior cool uh, where this van was from Florida. Uh, but you can see a light tint on the front windows, no tint on the wall. Excuse me, your factory tint on that window. Same with back here. See how you can kind of see the shades? Uh, through these side ones, you really can't even see the shades and the shades are down. Um, all new Explorer emblems on the back here. Very common for those to kind of delaminate. I almost do it on every one of my vans. Again, Cooper, beautiful Cooper tires, beautiful wheels, I mean, just beautiful condition. And I did put uh, GM lug nuts with a GM locking lug kit and see how clean and rust free it is in there. I'll show you the bottom of it as best I can in just a minute. A little bit of a scuff right there. Again, all just minor little nicks and a few abrasions here and there. Uh, these do come with a rear backup camera, which I normally don't need, but I will say are very useful on these vans. Integrated into that third brake light, because in this case, you can see here, I got the shades um, drawn. So to back up, you kind of back up blind. So in this case, this van has the backup camera and then it has these backup sensors here, one on each side that actually work very, very well. Aftermarket system, but works very, very well. Uh, new Explorer emblems. This is a flex fuel van, does have Stabila track, but you can see here again, all the textured plastic trimmings, all painted to match. Uh, a little bit of a ding right there in the door. I think there was another one, kind of a minor impression right there. Back bumper is in good shape, not marked up. I think someone had this back bumper repainted at one point because you can see right here, <laughs> an actual paint run where they painted it. Um, I'm sure they probably backed into something or scuffed it up and they had, you know, a body shop painted. Um, trailer hitch, I used the hitch. I don't want to say the thing's never towed before. I don't know. I don't think it was towed before. If I remember correctly, that wasn't like that. That was from me using it that one time. Um, so I don't think it's towed much, uh, but I did tow a car back on a car dolly from uh, Florida, towed beautifully. Uh, this is the second time I've done that. I did that last year as well. Again, all new Explorer emblems throughout. It's just minor light scuffing here and there. Uh, now on this side of the van, you'll see a little bit of delamination right there on the top of this molding, kind of like uh, clear coat delaminating. Same with on here. It's very, very light on the rest of them. The worst one seems to be this panel here. You can see it a little delamination there. A little bit of a scuff there. Chrome exhaust tip. Nice brand new Cooper tires. Again, all the lower cladding. You know, again, minor, minor light scuffs and light scratches here and there. Little chip right there. Some of the chrome you can see is flaking off this um, like body side molding there. And there was a dent uh, right here on this door. Now, when I got this van, like I said, multiple times already, this was a handicap equipped van. So essentially the lift came out of this side. Let me zoom it out here. Um, and when the lift came out, they had these doors so they didn't have the stops in them on both sides. So this door, I think naturally stopped before it would hit the body. Um, but this door, Unfortunately, just 
without that door check in there would come around and if it came around too much, you'd catch it right here against this door. And you know, just over time of doing that over and over again, you can see it kind of created a little bit of a dent there. I had my PDR guy come and take it out as best he can, um, but that is still kind of there. You can kind of see it right in there. One thing I will say, ice cold air conditioning. I got the van running right now just to keep the inside cool. Uh, dual zone, rear front and rear climate control. Uh, keeps this thing nice and cold going down the road. All right, that's the outside of this van. Uh, I'm gonna show you the inside, show you what all the seating inside looks like and it's in beautiful shape. Like I said, 37,000 miles on this Chevy Express van. See a little bit of a drip coming out there. That's the rear air conditioning dripping. The passenger side firewall is where the front AC uh, relieves itself, we'll say. And one final walk around. You know, it's funny, these vans aren't even only meant for families. I've, I've seen retirees buy vans like this to travel with and honestly great vehicle to do so comfortable reliable this is a 5.3 liter chevrolet v8 um tried and true same engine in like the tahos and suburbans the best thing about these ones is they do not put active fuel management or any kind of displacement on demand bs in these vans so you don't have any issues with lifters or any of that crap that they put in the Suburbans, they put in the uh, Tahos, they put in the Chevy Silverados that are now causing havoc to the poor owners who bought these things. So this is just a simple V8 rear wheel drive, <coughs> excuse me, no BS van. And the thing with these vans is it's a dated platform. They made this body style, this exact body style starting in 2003. I had an 03, I had an 05, I had an 07 with last year's. This is an 09, this is the newest one I have. I will say they're all, I mean, basically the same, but I do prefer the rear wheel drive versions over the all wheel drive. My first two were all wheel drive, and I don't really know what it is to really pinpoint, but just that extra gearing and axles I, fig I, I felt that the first two that I had were a little louder, a little more groany. These, if you, can, if you are in a southern state or if you're really not fearful of the rear wheel drive, I mean, these are such heavy vans that I really don't think they're that bad in the snow. Um, this van, rear wheel drive, is, in my personal opinion, preferable. Straight axe, you know, straight drive, uh, drive shaft into a rear axle, no all-wheel drive BS to deal with. Less moving parts, less moving pieces. All right, let's get into the van here. Enough chit chat on the outside. I'll show you what the inside of this sweet, sweet van looks like. All right, let's dive on in and show you what this beautiful, big blue van looks like on the inside. Now this is traveling in comfort. This is luxury of its time. Although Explorer really you know, they change, every van is different. I've never had two vans the same uh, as far as options, as far as trim. You know, like I said, even just on the outside, uh, this is the first van that I've had that had this body side molding where none of them have had that. They just had the cladding on the bottom. This is the first one I've ever had that's all one color. So, you know, when you order these vans new, you can really kind of go down a list. Let me turn this down a little bit. You can kind of go down a list turn that down back there too um and really make these exactly how you want them now uh explorer goes through them they outfit them with all custom upholstery door panels wood dash kits headliners you know all the stuff in the back here is all custom done these vans are basically stripped when they get them and they go ahead and they retrofit them with you know padding and padding and leather and vinyl and little pockets, you know, here and there. Um, that's what Explorer does. Explorer outfits these things 
to be what you want them to be when you order them. Um, some of the components in these I've seen um, not hold up to the test of time. One of the big things that I remember on a lot of my vans is the high tops. Um, I don't know what it is when they paint these things, but a lot of times the clear coat fails in the high tops. Uh, this particular one, I can see that this high top has been repainted at one point. Uh, from down here, you can see a couple little dust marks and stuff in the finish. Overall, really great shape. So I'm assuming because this van was in Florida, the clear coat had failed in the roof at one point and they had that repainted. Other common thing that I see with these vans is some of the wood kits start to fade. This one has a few panels that are faded. Um, you can see these ones here, the center panel on that side. All the wood on the dash is in great shape, steering wheel. Uh, but even panels like this, you can see it's kind of faded out. Um, <laughs> it's weird. It, you think because they fade, they look ugly. I actually think they look better because they almost blend more with the um, interior color rather than being the wood. The wood is kind of dated looking in my opinion. Um, so I actually like this kind of faded out look. It's just me. Um, but anyways, dual power front windows, power locks, real clean inside the jam here. These vans are built in Wenzel, Michigan. Is that Michigan? No, Missouri. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, automatic headlights, your cruise control. Uh, has all your audio controls over here. Uh, I'll show you all the dash and stuff like that uh, in just a minute. Tons of cup holders, you get cup holders, you get a cooler with cup holders. Um, very, very comfortable seating throughout. Like I said, all custom upholstered. Uh, you can see Explorer even puts their little logo on it. The armrest, you can see on the other side here, the switches for the armrest, you get heated seat functions, lumbar functions. Uh, upholstery on this side's in really nice shape. A few little small uh, cracks in like the, the beading on the side there. And some wear, obviously, probably from getting in and out of this fan. Uh, but it is dual power with forward, back, tilt, motions. And this is for your power recliner. They definitely have comfort um, as a priority. Tilt wheel as well. Uh, one of the other things that I see is quite common with these vans, and you're going to see it in this one, is basically Explorer uses house carpeting when they carpet these vans out. And I've noticed it seems to be a lot in the, the floor mats. They tend to discolor or fade a little bit. So you'll see a little bit of discoloration there. Um, at some point, I think someone tried to do a little bit of dyeing to kind of get the color back. Um, some of it's maybe either faded or dyed, or um, sorry, worn off. Uh, but that's something that you'll see a few spots in this van. Real unique feature to the older vans that you cannot actually get anymore with the newer vans. I forget what model year. I want to say 12, 13-ish era. GM stopped building these vans with dual side barn doors. All the vans that I've ever had have had the dual side barn doors where you have doors on the left and on the right side. And I will tell you, it is way more convenient than you think it is um, because... I can put my daughter's car seat in any one of these seats. She can have all her crap here when we're traveling and people can get in and out of that side or this side. Like it makes it a lot more versatile to use this van. And you can see here, all the blinds are all in great shape. Uh, this is the first van that I've ever had that actually has lighted cup holders. Um, these cup holders have little LED lights in them. Uh, that light up, but you can see, again, some of the fade here, but all custom door panels, all custom trim work. Uh, you have your DVD player, your audio auxiliary inputs, uh, TV, does have wireless um, headphone capabilities, stargazing into the oval on the roof there. Uh, pretty cool. Dual captains in the second row, and the seats in this van are in phenomenal, phenomenal shape. Really, really clean. Uh, captain's chairs in this. You have the captain's chairs with the armrest, and these seats do recline. Uh, the recline lever is there, and they actually do pull forward and back, and you can actually even remove these. These are on what Explorer calls a quick swivel disconnect pedestal or something like that, where you can uh, essentially go under here, un 
one quick swivel, no tools required, and you can actually pull the seat out, these seat belts disengaged, so you can take this unit out. And we were actually thinking about doing that on our trip because we had one extra seat. So we're gonna take one out so it'd be easier access into this van, um, but we ended up leaving in. I'm glad we did because we ended up needing the extra seat um, for a, another passenger. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me, let me get this. We'll recline it forward here and show you the back seat area. Um, three across on the bench here. You can see those lighted cup holders, all the back lighting. You have cabinets all throughout the uh, high top to store whatever stuff you want to put in there. Uh, obviously, we don't keep these things long enough long term to need to put stuff up there, but DVDs, headphones, gear, whatever you might want to put in there. Uh, carpeting back here. It's a nice shape. You can see down in like the threshold area here, you can see where some of it's faded and kind of discolored a little bit. And again, the floor mats kind of got this weird green effect i know my last fan did the same thing i really think it's how this carpet kind of fades back um, with the sun and again this was a florida van so i know it was definitely exposed uh, to some sun blinds here nice for the protection you can see that extra layer of tint here nice for the uh, interior protection or just to keep the heat out or even just for privacy inside the little cubbies here little marks throughout the interior here on some of the door panels you know not perfect but overall very very nice backs of the seats stuff like that uh, this van oh, I think is really cool my last van didn't have this and I really like this these two footwell lights so when you open the door at night you can actually see where you're stepping otherwise you just had the regular interior lights um, I think that's a great uh, addition to this van all right Close these barn doors up and we'll come around the back here where my water is hanging out. Swing open these barn doors. We got barn doors everywhere. Now these doors open to an, pretty much a full wide opening here. Uh, fantastic for tailgating. Ask me how I know. Uh, great setup for that, you know, loading, unloading. Uh, you have, you know, door panels with the shades. Uh, these windows will vent as well. All the shades are in great shape. Again, just minor little marks here and there. Nothing too, too crazy. Um, this side here, you can see some of the fade on the wood. But again, it blends quite nicely, in my opinion. Again, shade here. I like to leave these up. I, I really, when I travel, I like to have all the shades up. Or down, I should say. Um, just so creates a lot of privacy in the back. People don't really realize. My daughter doesn't ask where we are a hundred million times. You can see a couple little marks here and there on some of the um, interior, just from probably loading and unloading stuff. Little pocket here. This is the air intake grill for the rear air conditioning. Got a few oh shit handles back here. Why? I honestly don't know. Um, this little panel here, this is the first van that I've had that didn't have a power folding rear bench um, but this was what that panel would actually be for there'd normally be a switch there if it was optioned with the power folding rear bench inside this little cubby here is your jack lug wrench and stuff like that and you can see here this is real wood you know explorer did it quite nicely with the um you know bracketry and stuff but unfortunately again due to the florida heat i assume you can see some fading here in the clear coat of the wood. Now, one thing that I was actually thinking of doing, but then I said, you know what? I don't want to really modify it to my taste, was taking this, and it'd be very easy to wrap this wood, and you could really wrap whatever you wanted. These panels here, even the cabinet doors and stuff like that, and wrap it in either like a, you know, a wood, or you can wrap it in... Um, you know a solid color if you wanted to you could wrap it in a um you know I, I guess you could do whatever you wanted possibilities are endless it does have a little jack here 
um, for what you, I think usually they have back here a one of those old Dirt Devil vacuums which are totally useless. You can see some old screw holes. So I think somebody took that out because honestly they are pretty much useless. Close this one up. Come into the side over here. Now this side is where the um, wheelchair lift was. The only remaining piece of wheelchair history or wheelchair lift history is this bracket right here. Now I decided to leave this on because I knew it was gonna make an impression and they were gonna be holes, but basically it's just a bracket that when the wheelchair lift came down, it sat on so it didn't wear a spot in the carpet and it would unfold. A uh, few other things they had to modify, I did my best to reverse is they had to take this blind off. So I had to get a new blind, which doesn't quite match the pattern of the other ones. You can see it's a little thicker, um, but the parts are still available. I actually do, after I ordered this one, I found the other blind and you can see it hiding under the chair right there, but the string is kind of messed up and I didn't really know how to unmess it up. But essentially the mechanism was right here. These seats weren't here. They were actually in the back where that seat is um that seat wasn't even in the van there was the, the people who had this van had that in their garage just collecting dust so they had these seats back there the mechanism was right under here you can see a little impression in the carpet um there was the power going through the carpet there we re replaced that little plug um but there are a few little spots where you can see some damage here where the wheelchair lift caught this plastic mechanism here or mechanism panel um, they also had to remove this. This was the cubby, kind of like on that side of this side, but because of the way it folded down, it would have caught this. Unfortunately, Explorer does not offer this door panel style anymore, and they do not have this. Explorer does sell a lot of parts of these. I bought all the blinds, I bought all new emblems. I bought a lot of stuff through them over the years, um, but some stuff they just eventually discontinue because they haven't made that style van or used that type of equipment so really what i left in there was this the only other thing i guess i should say is under a few of the carpets you can see these anchors i think there's one here i want to say there's one in the back somewhere but the, the floor mats kind of cover it but if you step up in here i'm gonna zoom out already zoomed out and see all the uh led lighting and again this is the first van that i've had that had these extra lighting uh, features in the back here which I really, really like. Um, none of my vans had the lighted cup holders uh, or anything like that. And just these few extra lights really make a difference. Pop these guys open. You have the cubbies. I think there's lights for these too. Uh, cabinet lights. Yep, there you go. So you have all types of cool things. Um, these speakers in the back here are for the TV. Um, it does have, I actually think those two speakers are for the radio and then these speakers are for the TV. I might be wrong, uh, but I do know that they do work. And uh, like I said, this is a bench here. This will fold down uh, flat into like a, a bed. There's a little lever on the front here. Just pull it and it folds flat right down. Oh no, those speakers I believe are for the radio. Yes, and then these ones in the ceiling are for the DVD player. Um, the other bit of damage you can see here, there was a bracket up here. I had to replace the seat belt. There was a bracket up here that was part of the mechanism for the, um, for the, uh, what am I, I'm losing my train of thought. For, for the wheelchair lift, you sit back here. And it's absolutely beautiful. Air conditioning coming down on you. You have roof vent options and you even have a floor vent option. A few little coat rack hooks. I believe these little mechanisms are to hang the, uh, hang the, um, oh, it's hot out. My mind's turning or melting. These are to hang the uh, headphones. Like I said, those are in the back there. I honestly don't know if they work because we just had the rear DVD playing over the speakers. Um, so that, I'm not sure if the 
headphones do work, but like I said, back the interior upholstery in this van is in really, really nice shape. It's got like a perforated leather. My daughter sat here. My nephew, his girlfriend, and my wife was up front with me. I'm gonna put these all open. With them down, you can see a lot of uh, excess light comes through here and it makes it nice as well. But um, it was kind of cool. When my dad and I drove this van back from Florida, we decided to try to camp in the van in a Walmart parking lot um, the first night. One, not, I guess, purposely because um, we couldn't find a hotel. And that was on my own fault because I drove and drove and drove and never stopped. And by the time we stopped, all the hotels were booked. So um, putting the shades up, it was kind of a little better, a little bit more privacy. But you can see here, plenty of natural light can come inside as well. Uh, the only other damage that is on one of the door panels here is you can see some scuffing and marks on this cup holder. Again, I think because of the the way that the ramp came out of this van, it would probably catch and rub this, uh, causing that. But overall, really, really clean in the back here. Tidy, nice. And the leather upholstery, I don't know if I really hit home with that, how nice the leather upholstery is in this van. You know, these vans are kind of like minivans. Excuse me. Are used kind of like minivans. I mean, really, that's what they were basically meant for. A little more cushy than a minivan, but to haul people, to haul your family, to haul kids. And these things usually don't hold up. Um, these vans were quite common to be used up, used, abused, thrown away. This one, the previous one that I had, I was very lucky that I bought low, low mileage ones, really well preserved ones. Um, the first one that I had, I bought from an elderly couple. Back was perfect. The second one I had was an absolute pigsty. I cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and it's still the carpets were all stained and boogers everywhere. Um, and then the third one last year. And then this one was a breath of relief because they weren't all beat up um, because they had such low miles. They were uh, in relatively great shape throughout. I see all the dashboard here and again passenger side front seat upholstery is in really really nice shape uh perforated nice soft leather again your um, power lumbar you have your heated seat option and then your dual power with the power recline Some carpeting is in nice shape a little bit of fade on the on the uh, floor mat you can see that but overall in real nice shape all right, now let's jump behind the wheel and I'll show you some of the controls and whatnot, and then we're gonna take it for a spin. About to show you under the hood here, I wanted to show you this 5.3 liter Chevy Vortec V8. Um, I mean, there's really not too, too much to see under here, these vans, the way they have them jammed in the back there. Uh, you got your battery, battery's dated January of 23, so it's a pretty fresh battery. Coolant, all your, uh, oil and fluid checks are right here you have the oil dipstick or inlet to pour the oil the oil dipstick there transmission dipstick coolant you have power steering brake fluid and then you have your uh, windshield washer fluid gm made it pretty easy to access all that stuff even though the engine's kind of further back mounted under the doghouse all right so now let's jump behind the driver's seat, show you what we got for controls here. Um, up on the top here, you can see all your um, basically extra lights, the driving lights, which are the front fog lights, your cabinet lights, your ceiling lights, and then the indirect lights behind the curtains. This is for your rear air conditioning. Uh, we'll shoot, go ahead and shut that off for now. You have um, dual vanity mirrors on the uh, visors, home link for garage door opener. Uh, some of this stuff is standard, you know, GM stuff. Some of it's added. Um, like if you kind of see a little bit of a blue light, there's a blue light underneath this panel here that lights all these cup holders and stuff up at night. It does have a Pioneer navigation system, but also rear backup, 
as well. And then you can hear that audible beeping noise as you back up closer to something, it starts to uh, increase its frequency. Uh, all the controls over here are for your instrument cluster readout, fuel range, economy, you, fuel used, average speed, your tachometer, um, oil life, tire pressures, engine hours. Um, you can go and change all the, sorry, I'm not even showing you. You can go and change all the feature settings. Uh, but 37,538 miles. Uh, I do have both original sets of keys with this van, key fobs as well. Um, those both come with it. Starts right up. You have an automatic headlight control there, interior dimming lights. Like I said before, this is your cruise. These are your radio controls, um, and they do work to turn up the radio or I think mute it. I think I just did. Yeah, we'll turn that back down. Uh, wipers, pretty basic layout. Your front climate control, heated side mirrors, traction control. You have uh, charging ports everywhere. Trailer tow uh, mode. You have an, a USB cable probably to connect to the radio here. Uh, this guy here is the key for the locking lug nuts. And inside here, I have a little packet of just a few extra little, um, I forget what the technical term is for them, but essentially those little circular things right there that hold the strings for the um, blinds. Uh, those sometimes tend to break if they're, you know, rough hours or, you know, brittle. Um, I bought two extras for the back there that I replaced, and I ended up buying like four or five just to have. This is a receipt here I threw in here from when uh, we bought the van. This was in Houston, Texas, before we drove it back from Texas. Um, it had 31,741 miles, and uh, we did an oil change, wiper blades down there because I didn't know when it was done and I wanted to be sure. Um, what else? We have your little cooler in here, uh, cup holders. This is an on and off switch for the rear. Um, if you have the DVD player on, you have your on and off switch for the rear speakers. You can shut them off if you want the um, quietness back there and you want to um, have your passengers in the back there using their uh, headphones instead. All right, let's take it for a spin. I'm pretty sure I didn't forget anything back there. Uh, so I did just go through this thing and service it again. Um, like I said, I just put the wheels and tires on now so that those essentially don't have any use or wear and tear on them. Um, four brand new tires, the wheels, uh, four new tire pressure monitor sensors. Um, they did another set of wiper blades. Uh, the air filters, oil change, uh, oil change isn't due until 42,500. I believe they did a synthetic oil change with this one uh, because the last one I did, um, I don't know what I did when I did the last one, but that's what they did uh, now. <laughs> um, what else did we do to this van? Um, shocks, I think front shocks, uh, stabilizer links, oh no. Front, they did something else in the front end. I don't think this has a stabilizer bar. I think it's got torsion bars. I'll have to look at my receipt. 5.3 liter Chevy. This little Jeep wants to pass me. I don't know why you won't just let me go. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, you know, it gets up and it moves this van. Essentially the same engine in your 1500 series Chevy pickups, uh, Tahoe, Suburban, stuff like that. And you can see here, she cruises down the highway nice and straight cruise control, set it and forget it. Um, really enjoyable vans to drive. Like I said, even if you're just an older couple who just travel a lot, um, you know, plenty of visibility up in the front here, comfortable. You know, if somebody wants to jump in the back and take a nap, totally possible as well as you're driving. So it, it makes for a very enjoyable cross country van. You know, I'd love to take one of these and do Route 66 or something with the, uh, the old man. Um, we've always wanted to do a trip like that. I know one of these days we would. Uh, and this would be a great van or style van to do it in, these Explorer conversion vans. Now 
one thing I will say is these, you know, they're not the most nimble, you know, um, fan fans. Obviously, with the high top, they're slightly top heavy, and you can kind of feel that wallow in them, um, you know. But they're not scary to drive. Um, my dad drives it. My wife's driven it, and my wife is very paranoid about driving my vehicles. Um, she was able to handle this just fine. You know, with the high top, um, cruising down the highway, um, surprisingly, I got pretty good gas mileage in this thing. Going down, like I said, we were loaded with people and cargo. Going down, if I remember correctly, I want to say we got like 17 miles to the gallon, which I thought was nuts. Um, I remember coming from Texas, we were in like the 18, 18 and a half-ish miles to the gallon, which I thought was crazy as well. Coming back from Florida with everybody loaded in the van and dragging a Cadillac DeVille behind us on a car dolly, I think I was still getting 13 miles to the gallon, which I think is pretty impressive for a big van like this. Um, you know, like I said, no active fuel management or displacement on demand, none of that stuff. So you have pure, you know, no electronic BS, um, you know, power, I guess you could say. Uh, any questions about the van, you can give me a call, 978-930-1004. I know this video is going to be a long one, but obviously this is kind of a unique vehicle. A lot of little ins and outs to show you on it. 978-930-1004. My website, specialtymotorcars.net. You can check out all the still pictures I got over there of this van. Um, any questions don't hesitate to reach out obviously i have full faith in this van um, to drive it anywhere I, I jumped in it and drove from texas not knowing anything about it but i know these vans are really great reliable vans and then i took it to florida with my family in, in you know these are such great solid chevy vans that it, it's really sad that they finally discontinued this body style i believe in 2024 um, obviously EPA ruins everything and they got to get better gas mileage and yada 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 so now you start to see a lot more of those Euro style vans like the Ford Transits and the Chevy City Expresses and stuff like that these are kind of the old school body on frame V8 rear wheel drive no BS simple easy to work on vans um, these I think are going to be sought after for a long time because they are such great vans and they were around for so long essentially 2003 to 2023 that's a 20 year body style spread which is nuts anyways where i was going with that is if you want to fly in and drive this van home you'll absolutely love it um hey you know what maybe we can work something out if you need to get this van transported papa bear and i are always up for a road trip not saying i can guarantee it but if you have any questions about getting it to you give me a call i can help with transporting it or um, maybe even a delivery, um, you know, for a small fee. We could probably work that out as well. 978-930-1004. My name is Anthony. I'd really like to show you the bottom of this van so you can see how clean it is. Uh, we're gonna make an attempt at doing that in this old dilapidated mall parking lot. wasn't as good as putting it on a lift but I'll tell you one thing it is a pain in the ass to put this thing on a two post lift much better on a four uh, four post drive on style lift but that's the bottom of the van you can see how nice and clean it is any questions about it give me a call 978-930-1004 price on the van is going to be $29,995 37,000 mile example rust free example dual side barn doors new tires uh, new wheels, uh, it's serviced, it's ready to go. You can take this van anywhere. You can fly in, drive it home. If you need help assisted in shipping, I can help you with that. Hey, reach out to me, let me know where you are. Maybe we can work something out with a delivery uh, as well. Papa Bear and I love to go on the road trips, you know that. And I would love to go on one last road trip in this super cool Chevy Express Explorer high top conversion van. Thanks everybody for watching. Watch out for the next video coming up next week. More inventory. I'm working through it. Thanks all for all the love and support. As always, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. 
Thanks for watching.